this is Blue Star Warrior 1 here. All the glory goes to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Today I feel led to read Deuteronomy chapter 8. Deuteronomy chapter 8 from the King James Version of the Holy Bible. Let's begin. All the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do that ye may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers. Now God's talking to the Israelites. This is back when they are going to go in and enter the Holy Land. And thou shalt remember all the days which the Lord thy God led thee these forty years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee to know what was in thy heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manna, which thou knowest not. Neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee know, that man doth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. Now manna was the type of food that came from the heavens. It was angels' food, as God said, and he gave it to them to eat, so they would have food to eat. Thy raiment wax not old upon thee, neither did thy foot swell these forty years? Thou shalt also consider in thy heart that as a man chastiseth his son, so the Lord thy God chastiseth thee. Therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God to walk in all his ways and to fear him. For the Lord thy God bringeth thee into a good land, a land of brooks, of water, of fountains, and depths, of that spring out of the valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley and vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive, of oil, oil, olive, and honey, a land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scarceness, thou shalt not lack anything in it, a land whose stones are iron, and out of those hills thou mayest dig brass. Grass. When thou hast eaten and art full, then thou shalt bless the Lord thy God for the good land which he hath given thee. Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God in not keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes which I commanded thee this day. When, lest when thou hast eaten and art full and hast built goodly houses, and dwelt therein. And when thy herds and thy flocks multiply, and thy silver and thy gold is multiplied, and all that thou hast is multiplied, then thy heart be lifted up, and thou forget the Lord thy God, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage, who led thee through the gates and terrible wilderness, wherein were fiery serpents and scorpions and drought, where there was no water, who brought thee forth water out of the rock of flint, who fed thee in the wilderness with manna, which thy fathers knew not, and that he might humble thee, and that he might prove thee to do thee good at thy latter end. And thou may say in thy heart, my power and the might of my hand hath gotten me into this wealth. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth them the power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant with which he swore unto thy fathers. It is this day. And it shall be, if thou do all, do that at all, forget the Lord thy God, and walk after them other gods, and serve them, and worship them, I testify against you this day, that ye shall surely perish. All the nations which the Lord destroyeth before your face, so shall ye perish, because ye would not be obedient until the voice of the Lord your God. And Lord Jesus Christ, holy name, amen, amen. That was a delicious read, and I'm just going to let the Bible scripture speak for itself. I'll be back as the Lord leads.